Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna go through a couple of pictures in the capture one but this time I'm gonna go through the ARW file it's the Sony uh, RAW file format so uh, some of you mentioned in the comments last uh, video mentioning that the Sony uh, also uh, will look better in the capture one so I did some research and I saw this um, article from the Alpha Universe uh, story and um, they were talking about the Sony Phase 1 has a unique par partnership uh, on the 2015 and then they have the collaboration between them so I'm, I think um, the Sony sensor um, that's what the Capture One was uh, because the uh, Sony, Fuji and Nikon they have the same type of Sony sensor so so I, I will just test it out and then import it this uh, by the way I upgraded to the pro version so that it can handle the Sony or Nikon file just in case so and I just did a quick uh, threshold and then the sharpening a little bit and then luminance minus uh, maybe around 12 uh, so the I think the color is better by default is better than the L Lightroom uh, color the Adobe default color that renders so there might be some algorithm behind the scene that renders better but overall is uh, nice so uh, so that's the default before and after I, I updated some of the color uh, reduce the yellow and then reduce the green also so just make it more uh, multi-tone in the bottom as well you can see that uh, the sharpness let me zoom in so the sharpness is much sharper and then um, it looks uh, better than the one that in the Lightroom that process uh, so this one also I just did a quick edit so there's a before and after on the eyes Yep. So it uh, it produces nice results on this uh, Sony sensor, even on the Fuji. So this one I haven't edited yet. That's why it's the same. So let me do a quick edit. So luminance, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then exposure slightly reduce. Maybe uh, brightness. Sharpening, I add about 360, 300. So slightly reduce the threshold. So and the radius, uh, you can see that if it's too much, it's too strong. If it's too little, it's too soft. So it has to be around um, 0 0.7 to 1. Um, for me so right now and some of you mentioned that uh, you can do a mask uh, if you want only certain area to be sharp uh, you can do that and then um, one of the viewer mentioned you can use a skin tone to automatically add the mask and then uh, erase uh, that that you work to so there are many couple of different ways to do it so right now I'm just do some simple uh, sharpening and then the um, adjust the blue a little bit so slightly adjust the saturation of the blue I'm gonna patch it a little bit for this one so I have to get used to the uh, patch point also so just some slight patch okay so that's good and then let me zoom in so you can see the process uh, differently on the capture one so let me get the next one so basically I'm just uh, changing the color you 
This one I'm gonna reduce the exposure, brightness, increase the contrast. And then this is a highlight save uh, uh, in charge of the skirt right here. So let me see the sharpness. Um, I haven't changed the sharpness yet. So threshold slightly minus amount, radius, luminance. Okay, so that's the uh, overall sharpness right there. Just some minor adjustment and then you can see the difference. Yep, so... And I'm gonna do this. Uh, you can see the highlight is blown out in this one. So I'm just slightly adjust the highlight a lot more right here. Increase the... Okay, so if you need more lights right here, what we can do is um, I can do adjustment layer. Um, you can name it or not. Uh, so depends uh, how easy do you want to manage. And click the M and then just some lighting right here in the shadow area. Just slightly increase the shadow right there. Increase the highlight safe. So, and then the sharpening right now is zero. So, radius, threshold. Okay, so that's uh, let me check the before and after. So that's before and after. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly. I'm gonna update this one. So threshold slightly reduce this one, and then radius among I can increase to the. brightness I reduce so that uh, be, because this one is near the rock uh, we can make it more moody so reduce the brightness okay so you can see the before so before and after and you can play with the highlight also just increase that uh, if you don't want the white is too obvious right there you can adjust that also so you can see that uh, the color is pretty good already um, it determined by the capture one and then let me do this one so on the ground there's some stuff I need to patch it out a little bit uh, just Okay, so that's patched out. Let's do a couple of quick ones right there. Okay, so increase the. I'm gonna not increase increase the brightness also. Highlight safe. And then do the similar sharpness uh, setting. So just show you the before and after. So before and after. And we can add some sh more shadow in here also. So you can just do a empty layer. Um, 
around this area you can increase the shadow uh, but not too much sometimes too much is not um, so I'm adding a little bit more right here yep. so you can just increase a little bit of the shadow you don't have to be too much shadow right there but um, the purpose of this video was um, uh, it's just to show the uh, sharpening also uh, in the capture one so just to see how's the color rendering of the capture one so let me update this one so to the luminance the show radius around here and then uh, you can try the shadow in this one brightness increase a little bit minus the highlight save exposure increase the contrast let me see so that's a before and after you can see the sharpness right there and then um yeah so just a quick look at uh, what was the uh, the like the raw processing in terms of the Sony files. So it seems like yeah, um, what I'm planning to do is uh, for Sony sensors like Sony camera, Fujifilm cameras. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, capture one, and then for the Canon cameras, I'm still using the Lightroom and uh, since I have the Portraiture 3 right there so mainly I, I can use Lightroom for that um, for the Canon files and then I can use this one for um, for other files as well and if I need to adjust the um, like the setting from this I can also try to export to a different file format and then I can update that also so um, yeah so I can do a TIFF uh, format also so just uh, in case if I want to add it in Lightroom furthermore after I get the colors but anyways I, I like the capture one color rendering of the Sony file as well so and um, when I was checking here, there are not too many um, like the ICC profile, not like the Fujifilm has a whole set right there. But I think I just leave it as auto, just whatever uh, I shot the color right there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just a quick uh, video update showing that. Um, we can use the A7, like the capture one for the A7 cameras as well, based on this uh, official article. And then they are, they were, they were collaborating a unique partnership in 2015 already. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.